in Jesus' name. And somebody said? Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap for that. I, I'm almost done. This is really strange. I don't know that I understand this. Does somebody have a fall? You kind of hurt your rib, and since then, something ain't right? Okay. What happened? Right here on the side? Okay. Well, y'all gonna need to get busy. <laughs> Young man, lay hands on her. Pray for her healing. You can't just come up here and sing real good. You're gonna have to minister some healing. That brother come up here and sang so good. I think that's all. I done did my job. I'm done. No, you ain't. You pray for that woman's healing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no! Was I supposed to take up an offering? Was, was I, Bishop? Was I supposed to? Okay, okay. Well, I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> Look at somebody say, "It's a blessing when you don't have to think about money." I feel like God's moving over there. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Listen, this is crazy. You know, I am seeing somebody's big toe. Whoever got a problem with your big toe, you need to get up and get your healing because I'm seeing a big toe. One of them, one of them toes is a right toe. You the right toe? Which toe is your toe? So she's the right toe, but that's all right. You take it. No, you don't need that. You got all the people over there. Lay hands. Lay hands on her for her healing. Come on, somebody. Let's give God a praise. We almost done. <laughs> oh, come on. We are almost done. Thank you guys for being so kind to the preacher. Don't stop praying. Ah, Namasia. Praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, I probably better take a load. Y'all better be glad I didn't take no uh, emerald treasure. <laughs> Bishop offered me some. I said no. I said no for y'all's sake. But is it still, is it still in your office? I'm going to take it and drink it in the morning. <laughs> I'm trying to behave, Jesus. You know I got issues. <laughs> Let's praise the Lord one more time. I thank God. Okay, I need to do one more thing. Um, why is March the 9th significant for somebody? Whoever that's significant for, you need to stand up. March the 9th. That's my nephew. Okay. Stay, stay standing. Y'all stretch forth your hands and pray for her. Um. 
Okay, stand up here. Okay, I know where the, why. Okay, stand here. I need a couple of men stand behind her. All right. I'm going to pray for you to have some supernatural weight loss. Why are you laughing? Because you said it this morning to the Lord? Okay. I was in, uh, in Texas. A woman came to the service. And in 30 minutes, she lost 50 pounds. <laughs> I, was in, I was in Michigan. And uh, the woman who was the choir director, she started losing weight and she had to sit down. Wait, 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 wait. It got turned over to the next one. And the next one lost so much weight, she had to stop. And she had to run to the bathroom to grab her pants. Oh, he, I seen him do it. <laughs> and, you know, I'm going to pray for you to have supernatural weight loss. I don't care if God does it a pound a day or two pounds a day or he starts it right now. I don't care what he does. But I decree and declare supernatural weight loss in your body beginning right now. I think she's a little Pentecostal. <laughs> You'll take the overflow? Oh, oh. Lord, give her overflow right now. Um, I know this is really strange, but I see um, N-I-T-A, but I don't think that's the name. I think that's the end of a name. Does that have a meaning for somebody? N-I-T-A. It's not the name. It's the end of a name. Does that have a meaning for somebody here? What's the deal? Why are you standing? N-I-T-A. Oh. Oh, so you want to lose weight. Yeah? You can get down there. I just see, you know, I just say what I see. <laughs> yeah, uh, right there, baby. You ready? Okay. I was in, uh, I'll never forget this, I was in Arizona, and this guy came up, he was a singer, and he wore a suit coat, and he wore it open. And I had this word of knowledge that God was causing people to supernaturally lose weight, he bust out laughing. Then he confesses. Then he comes up and said, I wore my coat out because I couldn't button none of the buttons. Then he proceeds to button all four of them. I ministered a woman from Norway lost 20 pounds in the service. Okay? Another woman from Louisiana, she weighed herself before she came to the service. There was a time when I was doing a lot of this supernatural weight loss. I probably will get back to it later. I mean, I have on film a woman shrinking her clothes. She shrinks in her clothes. It's on film. It actually happened at a Sid Roth meeting. You ready? Lift up your hands toward heaven. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare supernatural weight loss to enter this woman's body right now. And I decree and declare supernatural weight loss 40 pounds. Begin now. Can we praise God for about 60 seconds? I'll turn it over to Bishop. Oh. Well, can we say praise the Lord? Lift those hands, would you, tonight? Send the expression of God's power 
in a very unusual way. And not only that, seeing God use you as a demonstration of his power and the assurance that you are accepted in the beloved of God. Lift your hands in his presence again, would you be so kind? Thank you. I have a word for you that this healing is not over. The Lord shared it with me even on Friday that there will be a continuation of healing because I saw this church as a canopy and I saw something like just a, um, a covering over this and all of those who will come under that covering because of fasting and prayer, God's going to continue to heal. And when the, the prophet uh, told you to lay hands on those who was out there, that meant that the healing anointing that's on him is going to be continuing in your life if you would develop that. And lift your hands and give God some praise in that. <laughs> and I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that, that God now is, is, is a body ministry. But you have to develop it with prayer and fast and studying the word and understanding these kinds of things because the body of Christ has been too sick too long. And God has sent a word that even in spite of the spirit of terrorism, and I want you to get this, and there is the spirit of terrorism in the natural realm. Everybody is afraid. The same spirit of terrorism has afflicted the soul and the spirit. Yes. And I want you to lift your hands because I can see demonic penetration that's coming out there like waves against the people. And any time there is an opening, one of those waves is going to get in there and it's going to cause an explosion and a deterioration. And that's going to be a hindrance. But God says now, I release the shield of my word and the spirit of my word to come against you even in the night season while you are sleeping and the demonic forces are up in the atmosphere I now begin to release angels there to protect you supernaturally and that's why many of you when you wake up in the morning you sense that you've been fighting through the night but God is going to give you a, uh, and continuous a, a spirit of peace your body is going to be renewed and then again I also see this as you're being healed emotionally it's going to trigger your immune system in the natural realm to heal your body because your body was made to heal itself and the anointing of God rests heavily upon you you may as well give God praise and I want you to begin to understand that I want you to be I want you to begin to understand this and the message this morning in particular by your wife was so instrumental because it began to open doors because many times we undergo physical affliction but what happened it has its origin in the emotional realm and I want you to understand that is because when your body is out of sync emotionally it it it, it uh, withdraws or uses up those chemicals in your body that God places there for healing in Jesus name and God is going to begin to do it God says I'm now begin to show my favor upon people who never believed that they were accepted so this was a start this was the beginning of this I want you to lift your hands in this prayer. we just reached down and I want you to begin to, say, to just sense this and meditate on this. In Jesus' name. Now, I want you to seal your healing and what you have received tonight. I want you to get this. He's Pastor Washington. The Holy Spirit speaks to me. I want you to seal it with the best offering that you can. I know that you've been giving. But you are going to seal it with the best offering that you can. I want to say it again. I want you to seal it or brand it with the best offering that you can. In Jesus' name. I want you to seal it. He says, God, not, God I'm releasing my faith. I'm releasing through something that I give tangible, tangible it back to you to let you know that I appreciate you and appreciate this man of God for 
three hours of ministry. Can we say amen? amen? Can you say amen? I want you to get this. God is moving supernaturally. How many of you believe that? Hallelujah. But I want you to hold on to your heel. There was something significantly said today. Can you hold it? And I said this. Uh, oftentimes, prophet, God, even when we hear words of faith and words of healing, God is developing our faith. And I want you to hear this. That, and I begin to wonder, why is he doing this? God says, I'm developing the people's faith. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because when God heals, uh, he wants to deliver it that you can maintain it. You, are you listening to me? Can we say amen? Amen. 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 You were blessed this weekend, powerful pack. Uh, the harvest revival will end on Wednesday night, and I'm going to tell you this. I will be praying for the oppressed after the message. I will be praying for the oppressed, depressed, rejection. I will be praying. And also we have bottles of oil, anointing oil, that will be given to those who come. Just going to give it to you. Can we say amen? $100. Hallelujah. I give my wife a check. She thought it was for her. <laughs> Can we say amen? Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Can we say praise the Lord? Amen. Amen. Hey man, she said, oh, wow, what is this? <laughs> uh, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We want to thank God for our guests being with us. Many of you travel Cincinnati, Monroe, Kentucky. Amen. All over the place. Can we say amen? And yet here with us. And met a guest uh, across the city. We love you. Uh, don't forget the fasting three days and nights. We're going to end the fast uh, after the 12 o'clock service on Wednesday. Just juices and liquids. That's it. Start 12 o'clock on tonight. Can we say amen? Amen. I'm going to ask that many of you go as far as you can. Amen. On the fast. Be fair. Be honest. It says, God, I want something from you. Can we say amen? I, I determined that I want something from God that he's never given to me, so I got to do something that I've never done. So I think this is our fourth week or fifth week on the fast. So we're thanking God. We believe in God for deliverance. And not only that, but those of you from guest churches, I want you to take the healing anointing back to your ministry. Take it back to your church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, and also then again, begin to pray for your children. Begin to just lay hands on them. Begin to call people and say, I want to pray for you. If nothing seems to happen, just continue to pray. God is working. Hallelujah. Don't get afraid, dismayed, disappointed. God is a God that will answer. Amen. At this time, the brethren will serve you. Can we say amen? Amen. amen. A wonderful time all day today. We had a wonderful time in Richmond, Indiana. We came back. Thank God for Pastor Jennings going with us. Uh, Brother Buddy, he... Uh, he he has a radar detector, so y'all know what that meant. Yeah. But we got back safe. Thank God for Elder Compton. Amen. He kept up too, so we prayed for him. Amen. Smoke coming all out of the wind, uh, the tailpipes and everything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Everybody's giving. Everybody's giving. I want to seal it now. That's very important, very critical. I want to seal it. Amen. With an offering. I want to seal it with an offering like COD. Amen. You paid for it. Let me have it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Would you stand to your feet? And tell two persons, I'm blessed. So tell your neighbor on the other side. So when the battle is over, I'm landing on the hallelujah side. Doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm on the hallelujah side. Now I want you to take your foot and put your feet down on the devil's neck.
I'll come on and do it. Now stomp it. Amen. You're putting your foot down. Oh, 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 thank the Lord. We got two little girls and they saw the miracles and, uh, hey, man, they, they, they want to come part of our church. Y'all come on up here. Hey, Amen. You know what? And uh, so, 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 so when the prophet said, you know, they've been looking around, you know, they've been looking. And uh, and I saw a while ago. They I saw a while ago. They just laid, they would have just started laying hands on folk. You know, <laughs> they told me to do it. I, they laid their hand. <laughs> Hallelujah! You put your trust and your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures, and you believe that He rose again on the third day for your sins. Are you willing to put your trust and faith in what he has done for you? Yes. He died that you don't have to die. Amen. Amen. I just want you to point your hand this way. We want to receive you into the church. And uh, you have the same rights and privileges as everybody else. And I certainly want to thank God for your faith. And we're going to baptize you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for a miracle that her life is a witness to her friends. And Father, they have confessed you as Lord and Savior. This is one soul the devil thought he had, but he don't have them no more. We cover them with the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, and the word of God, and the power of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And we cover them with the power of praise. We touch and agree. We loose and bind. We release your power and your anointing. And God, we pray, dear God, that you will baptize them in the Holy Ghost. And we thank you, dear Father, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, that they will change that setting at Stiver School. And we thank you. In the seventh grade, dear God, they're witnesses for you. They can tell them we saw eighth grade and we saw hands and feet being growing out and folks being here. They saw it. And we thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all not members of Maranatha now. Y'all tell everybody. <laughs>